for Kofu introduces his hair with his office, pulling his portfolio, and then he becomes that. So, good morning, guys. My name is Kofi Alaglo. I'm head of innovation and planning at Guinness Ghana Boys. What are you doing here today? Uh, we are here for a very good news. We are here to introduce um, a new uh, plant to the Ghanaian market. And um, we are very excited about what it is. Um, can I reveal it now? Yeah. So we are here to avail black and white Scotch whiskey to every cherry spot in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what makes black and white whiskey stand out? Um, because I know uh, there are a couple of whiskey brands on the market. So what makes black and white stand out? A um, couple of things. So we did our research. Um, we found that in Ghana we have two groups of um, um, whiskey brands, let's say, whiskey and any other spirit. We have at the top um, a group of brands that are more expensive, right, for the discerning, you know, who can afford above 70 CDs kind of uh, brand. And then we have a second group that is just below, right, where you have brand costing less than 15 Ghana CDs. Now, we come up with a product that's sitting just in between to bridge that gap. For every occasion when you want to, with your friends, you celebrate, you know, your togetherness and step up um, from the ordinary. So we want to introduce a new brand of spirit um, that is a Scotch whiskey that is launching at the very attractive price of 35 Ghana cities for the 75 CL bottle and then 15 Ghana cities for the smaller pack that is a 20 CL bottle. Um, what is special about it again, as you ask, is um, the taste. Um, most whiskies in Ghana are known as very harsh, kind of, right? A bitter, painful experience that people have described in our research. But we are coming with a liquid that has been researched and described as very smooth, right? You have it your way. You could have it with um, um, a dash of cola. And that's the way most people have liked drinking it. But you can have it your way. You could have it neat. But it's consistently described as a smooth um, scotch whiskey. So what does this brand mean to Guinness Canada Um It broadens our current offering, right? You know we are the we want to be the most trusted, respected company um, in, in Ghana. And it's called to us to um, bring better experiences uh, to our series consumers. Um, so we came up with um, black and white to broaden our portfolio. Currently, we have a rich portfolio of uh, spirits that are already launched in the market. We have uh, international premium spirits, the range that I described earlier, as 70 Ghana cities and above. We also have very discerning brands at the base. Um, I could mention a few, um, which are not the focus today. And today we are bringing one that bridges the gap and broadens our portfolio. Um, so we want to have something for every occasion and we continue on that journey with the introduction today of um, black and white scotch whiskey. Is it produced locally or is it important? Okay, so a bit of education here is important. A bit of education here. Um, we are calling it a scotch, you notice that I'm insisting on the term scotch whiskey, right? So we have whiskeys, right? But among whiskies, you have blended scotch whiskies. So blended scotch is a mix of different um, scotch coming from whiskey coming from different distilleries, and then it's scotch because it has to mature in Scotland for at least three years and one day before it gets that qualification of being a scotch whiskey. So uh, you you Google after here that most scotch whiskies are very expensive, and this is really a great deal for the connoisseurs of Ghana. So what is the importation arrangement like with government, favorable or unfavorable? Um, this is venturing into um, 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 corporate questions that I'm not the spokesperson to talk about, but um, we are a responsible company, as you know, and all arrangements have been made, and we are sure the authorities are very comfortable with the introduction of Scotch, um, and black and white Scotch whiskey. What is the expectation of the market? We've seen great potential so far. As I mentioned a couple of times that we've done some research before introducing it. We've received um, overwhelmingly positive feedback so far. 
and uh, we are very confident it's something that everyone is going is going to be the talking town in the next few weeks. So have you set a target for yourself as to how much you are looking at selling? We have targets um, that probably we don't need to share on this platform, but we have very ambitious targets, and I'm going to pursue those targets as uh, uh, um, the innovation manager. All right, I think 